deep. <laughs> Hi, Deirdre. How are you? I, I'm good. Um, I, there, there's that red sticker saying that we're live. So <laughs> yeah, we are live. Yeah. So I'm just um, pulling up all, uh, pulling up our live on our Facebook page, and hopefully, um, oh, there we are. So just one second. Right. Excellent. Okay. So now I can see people as they join us. Okay. Okay. So lovely stuff. So anyway, oh, somebody's joined us. Hi. <laughs> so <laughs> how are you, Deirdre? Oh, oh, yesterday. Uh, uh, well, I, I got through it. Um, uh, a lot of preparation doing something else first and then uh, I realized it. <laughs> I should have been prepping for a, a, a different uh, subject. So anyway. <laughs> Together with that and me falling off the Twitter chair like a hundred times. <laughs> oh, well, at least you didn't fall on your head. You, you seem <laughs> Oh, my God, I might as well have. Like, you know, <laughs> it was a bit of fun anyway. <laughs> yeah, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, my stomach was hurting last night from the laughter anyway <laughs> so right okay so anyway did you enjoy it did you, did you have fun I, I did yes um, <laughs> it, it was a bit different in that normally my, my head is on stalks looking for to make sure I grab everybody that's um, that so much retweets something during the hour and uh so that was a little bit relaxed but uh, you know i had to make sure that i caught questions and um that uh, even though you know and that things went out on time and then tried to retweet them again and um <laughs> it, it, it was a little bit different than usual to say the least <laughs> I say so. I don't think I did as good a job as you. I think uh, <laughs> I missed a, a few, uh, but anyway, you know, we had we had a laugh, and uh, it was nice to turn the turn the table on you and put the spotlight on your business because um, you're quite a, a talented designer. I have to say myself, and I, I love your work, and oh, especially thank um, you so much. <laughs> uh, and you and you love typography, and I think that's where we meet our love of lettering, like you mm -hmm. know, way things sort of um, uh, fit together, if you will, when we're trying to convey a message. But <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, we're going to make up for yesterday. <laughs> and we're going to um, run through the questions um, that, um, oh my gosh, I'm really not with it. I'm still not with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I left my uh, head somewhere a few days back. You did very well. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Thank you. So, Deirdre, we're going to run over the questions again. And uh, you can expand them on a, a little bit if you want to. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe give us a little bit more um, information about, about yourself, okay? So, tell me, Deirdre, how can graphic design help? Um, well, uh, graphic design uh, uh, help can. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Should we start again? Spending so much time um, trying to, you know, writing things up, and I'm, my head is in edit mode. So anyway, one of the best things about being a, a, a designer is that I'm lucky enough to meet people who are passionate about what they do, their events, their about it, uh, want to promote, or um, or, or even a, a, you know business and where it's going. Um, and it, in conversations with people to, uh, about about their event product or um, uh, that, that they want to. It's and, and research that I've done on their business. It's from there that the concepts and design solutions come from. So that means that the design is very unique to the to the people that I'm working for at that time. And the, the goal would be that uh, that would maybe in a, a business setting that that would continue into the future. Um, and you know, I'm I'm very open to receiving. Uh, 
queries. So throughout the process, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very I'm available by phone, uh, email, you know, various social media, and um, so um, essentially, um, yeah, just uh, the, you know the process through to. Uh, Talking to the customer, discussing the pro, uh, the the um, the event, the what, where they want to um, take take it, and from there it was creation of artwork, and I would deal with the printers, and um, so uh, and you know basically it's bringing text and image together to to create something unique for uh, the the um, the couple or their family or. Uh, you know, who, who are going to attend the wedding or even create uh, gifts in you know maybe somebody has an idea for that yeah, yeah. Um, Sarah's just left a comment she goes I see the giggles still haven't left yet <laughs> 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 we're finding it hard. yeah so uh, <laughs> Sarah's actually asking a question here, and it's a really good question. So I'd like to ask you that question, actually, mm -hmm. Deirdre. Okay. So, what are your tips for making for marketing graphics for small businesses? Um, well, after somebody has a a, a good personalized um, uh, mar their mark, so to speak, ID, I, I, you know, logotype symbol. Uh, combination monograph um, <laughs> then <laughs> the the next thing that they absolutely need is a business card yes. and on that business card it needs to have at least their name their business name or uh, and at least a, f a telephone number and preferably something like a website as well and that would that would be the minimum thing that you'd have on a business card after that uh I'm sure you've seen a lot of information on some business cards yeah. and that that just needs to be readable um we, we'd lecturers and it always stuck with me they'd say that when you give somebody a business card it should be that if they were running down the street and they were trying to get into a telephone booth they would whip out your business card and they can still read it so the not your contact number needs to be uh something that pops as well as your, your say your logo yeah. um then you say your logo would be um, sort of the most important thing because it's going to be the the one thing that like it's like your branding, isn't it? Your logo. Well, your logo is part of your branding. It's the logo that is your. It's your mark. It 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 uh, it should it it should describe your your business in in um or. Uh, you know, basically, it's it's the mark that makes you stand out from other businesses of your kind, yeah. um, and so it's it's, it's important that uh, there there's some um, some element of uh, how you portray how you think about your business in that as well as it it telling people that at, at a glance what you do, um, and you you think of that and you say, well, so and so used a goldfish. That that was more of a, a memory hook. Anybody that saw the, the golf, this stylized goldfish, and their name under, it, they knew who that person was. But for a lot of people, say a, a plumber, they might use some element, maybe of a, of a tap or a, 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 say to uh, indicate water, or you know, if they use a particular tool, some reference to that. That um, you know, and uh, then you know. Basically, the skies the, can be the limit, but it also must come down and uh, point to to the business. Um, so that, that's one of the things that um, uh, a logo. It's not something that you that you should say. Oh, damn! I need one. And, and uh, I saw this fella. Uh, he, I can give him a fiver, and he'll send me back because. I've had people come back to me after they do something like that, and they're all invariably they end up being more than a fiver. But they said, um, I saw this other fella, this other business in a completely different sector, and they had the same logo as I have. And um, you look at it and you say, um, you kind of explain to them why that might not have been a good direction to go down. Um, 
but anyway, to get back to the question, uh, you know, have have your your identity, your 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 mark right first. Um, but even if you don't have the mark, always have a business card. Yeah. Um, uh, because and then after that, I would suggest a DL leaflet or A5 leaflet that when you meet somebody and you've had that conversation about what you do, what you can do for them, uh, that you can leave that with them and they have your contact details and they can say, you know, it's small enough to slip into their diary or and have it there afterwards. Almost um, like a compliment slip of the old days, like, you know, just to sometimes a compliment slip was the thing that we held on to. We might get rid of everything else, but the compliment slip we kind of hold, held on to, mm -hmm. you know. You know, let me just um, bring you on and just take you away from branding and um, working with a designer for your um, logos and your business. Um, I just want to find out from you, uh, Deirdre, like, you know, um, it's, these aren't the questions we actually asked you last night. I'm just mm -hmm. actually going on from Sarah's question, because I think that's sort of more uh, pertinent to maybe the Irish Wedding Chat community and what designers can do for mm -hmm. small businesses. And also like for um, people who um, maybe even today are doing online events or, you know, are looking to the future because they're going to get married next year. Yeah. You know, like what are the benefits of working with a graphic designer as opposed to going to something like, um, Vista or something like that to go and get your wedding stationery or you know the way they do the the business cards isn't it a hundred for a fiver yeah. or something yeah. like that what are the benefits of going with you rather than going with something that's available online and almost immediately available um well to begin with um with a designer uh, or myself you're getting something that is unique to your product, your, uh, your event. And um, I can si I sit down with you. I talk about what you want. Um, I listen to your ideas. Then I do some research on that. And then at the end, near the end, um, sometimes I might come back, I need to come back to get the brief. And sometimes you having discussed it, I can ask you a set of questions to get the pre brief um basically from that i i discover uh, uh, kind of some of the nitty-gritty with those, those particular colors and uh, particular styles that you like or absolutely hate um and um whereas if you go to a, what is essentially a printer they're they're working with pre-designed artwork and they're trying to fit it to your theme to your uh, even even you know and people when they go on to Vistaprint, they're given a selection of images that and tech uh, typeface that they can combine together and you put in your words and the computer uh, joins the pieces together. I mean, as a, as a uh, a place to print uh, your artwork, you can upload. Um, you can upload artwork to it, unique artwork to it, and print. You're limited to the papers and some of the finishes, but uh, I would certainly recommend it, say, for business cards, the first time, you know, uh, business cards when you're, because there's a selection of some nice papers there. And, you know, if you're uploading your own design, um, I mean, th there's, the important thing is that the amount of time that a designer can spend and working with uh, the couple or the the, the planning yeah. team. Yeah. 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 I, I would assume, um, well, I know from myself when I'm, you know, asked to design wedding stationery, which is pretty rare for me, um, designers like yourself would be um, designing wedding stationery or wedding yeah, wedding stationery, you do it from start to finish, whereas mm -hmm. I might only do little sections of it and then come back and inscribe it. I assume that, you know, if you were to use somebody like yourself to do your wedding package, um, that, number one, you would have a package available to them, say, mm -hmm. from 
um, your invitation all the way through to your thank yous. Yes. And maybe a gift or two in between as mm -hmm. well. Uh, so I assume you actually offer packages like that to, to people who are getting married or people that are holding events, because even though we are in a pandemic at the moment, we do know that next year things will be getting, you know, we will have some normality. So for couples that are getting married that want to do something unique, is mm -hmm. there, you know, or even for businesses like myself, you know, the small micro business that want to have a full package, you know, including their branding, their logos, etc. Is that something you can actually offer? Um, yeah, because that's, uh, you know, that that's uh, the, the what graphic design is. I mean, when it comes to um, say for a wedding, you, the, you, they might start with the save the, save the date teaser that then followed on with an invitation. Um, and then looking at the, uh, the the location that the wedding's in, there's a variety of things like the place place pieces or the place cards, uh, menus, um, both drinks and food. And then there can be um, other little, yeah, as, as you know, I make three dimensional, um, cards that open out they could be they could, you uh, specific be designed as uh, favors or uh, uh, souvenirs and um, yeah. and then you're you're you know basically there's the various uh, um, uh, uh, printed material for uh, for the wedding itself the the booklets yeah. the um, um, you know, uh, you know so, sometimes people make souvenirs of the the, the readings or the some a quote from the from the reading um and uh the, then you're sending out thank you cards and um delighted you could be here so again that could be a card or it could be a, a something that is a souvenir or a keepsake in some way um, coming coming back to your um, lovely, I I love them. I'm um, you know that the, the um, origami um, yes. invitations and, and paper crafting that you do, mm -hmm. and I think that would be fantastic as a as a gift or rather as a, a wedding favor or mm -hmm. even as a thank you because I know that weddings that I've been to that I've had really unique favors, I still have them. Yeah. You know, so that would be an area that maybe would would uh, allow the event or the couple to stand out from everyone else, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, and can you do that sort of on a on a one off basis? Can you do that for say if 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 somebody came to you and they said said Deirdre, like you know, I have everything sorted, but I really like these. So mm -hmm. can you do them as as favors and can you do them as thank yous? Just uh, that, you know. Uh, Yes, I mean I can. I have uh, a few different forms that I that I can make, uh, and I have um, I adapt a number of those forms, and I discover more as as I'm going along. So by the forms, I mean the pieces that I that you pull out and uh, that. Uh, I, and I each one of those is made by hand, isn't it? Sorry, they, they are molded by hand. The, um, the the piece in particular that uh, from Gem Studio um, that was that was printed. In fact, most of the pieces there are commercially printed. But I have to um, decide on what goes on how, how the piece will appear in the folds. So that's all part of the design um, the, the, and create the artwork for that. And then they come back to me and. It's, it's that has to be hand folded to do it properly um yeah that really makes sorry that really makes you stand out from the crowd as graphic designers go because i don't i don't know any that i know that do that have that origami that's really really special um you know I, just as a by the by i think mm -hmm. I, I think it makes you that's like your usp because you're using this paper crafting and you are elevating mm -hmm. the invitation or you're elevating the um the invitation or whatever it happens to be that you're going to be using the 
the origami for like you know yeah. so just as a, a by the by i'm just very conscious of the time believe it or not deirdre we've already hit 20 minutes <laughs> I, just, I, that I was looking up at the the little red uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, i think we did really well not to be giggling through the whole thing <laughs> okay now seeing that we've um, done it again um is there anything that you'd like to um quickly tell us about or you know um maybe tell her uh, yeah is, is there anything else that I've, I've probably missed out a whole load of stuff uh, but is there anything that you'd like to tell us about um well um i mean basically uh, you know when i'd work with somebody from from uh, uh, with their wedding or for any event um i'm always available then to uh, in the future say they might have the, the next big business in uh, uh, in in mind, you know, the next big thing, or or even you know, or even better, they they have a fantastic idea that are that their passion that they want want to turn into a business. I mean, that's that's where I started, and a lot of my early, you know, I I, I one of the fantastic things I get to go through uh, from when somebody else is starting and their various stages to, of development. Um, I'm very lucky with, uh, I mentioned Jacinta earlier, and she's one example of, we started together and as, as things grew and changed and evolved, um, in some elements, her, you know, her, her identity, it, it, it has grown as well, the, um, her, her mark. And um, we've produced some great things and some, you know, quite design and some loud design and the, the fold out piece and uh, we've been kind of been together for over 20 years wow so that's kind of uh wow i, I like to feel that I, I i i build relationships with um my customers and that yeah that, that they're more friends than uh, the customers yeah and, and, uh, the bottom line type of thing yeah um, yeah so you must offer a really good value like as you said that you know i'm just thinking of my own customers uh, my own clients and that is it's great when they come back to you you know especially for say a paper anniversary in my case they might come back to me for a paper anniversary yeah or a christening or something like that you know uh, but uh yeah so i mean 20 years um that's fantastic that is awesome like you know you must be really like she must be really pleased to be with you and you must be really pleased as well um yeah and we've had a, a few arguments over the years but they've all been educational and um we're, we're both uh she, she she's uh print um in that screen printing and uh, fabrics so um you know we, we can have well, we, we'll describe, describe them as heated conversations, but you know, we've always come back and uh, they've, they've always been ed educational. Um, yeah. And we can say we can, like creatives do have that passion mm -hmm. about um, about themselves. So, you know, we can have heated debates, not necessarily arguments. And mm -hmm. it's all part and parcel of the creative, creative <laughs> process, <laughs> unless you have giggle fits like me. <laughs> Um, and uh, of course, uh, you know, it's not just startups, so, you know, can take a uh, design of uh, brochures, annual reports, I've had great fun with annual reports that they're, they're major show off opportunities for companies. Yeah. Um, so, and, uh, you know, to, to catalogs, uh, adver newspaper advertising uh, of all sizes um and you know it's it's all you know it's, it's great fun to find the different ways to uh, help businesses promote themselves and yeah. you know from the one year furniture to uh <laughs> hundreds of, hundreds of uh, euros of, of car hundreds of euro thousands of cars and you know it's so. Maybe I'm just thinking like I'm going to think out aloud now and then maybe just wrap this up because we're mm -hmm. at we're at 24 minutes. <laughs> Where does the time go? I just had an idea, so I'm just going to to verbalize it and then maybe if anybody's watching this on replay, they can let us know. 
and also you can let us know as well and you can think about it but i'm kind of thinking that maybe it might be uh, nice for the irish wedding chat suppliers group to learn a little bit more about what you can offer them in terms of branding logos and working with them to increase their visibility um, because you're a wizard on on twitter so mm -hmm. like you know uh, that's a, that's I think that's a platform that a lot of uh, small businesses um, think that their audiences aren't there. Yeah, and branding has a lot to do with that as well, and you know that's where I think it might be an idea for us to maybe do a webinar of on that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe we could consider doing that if you're up for it, and if people would um, like us to do it. Um, I, I'd certainly give it a go. I, uh, at, at times, I'm, I'm not uh, great on the camera because uh, I do too much rehearsing, actually. <laughs> and then I get there, I'm editing things in my head. And it's the same when I write as well. I look back on articles that I've written for, on my um, uh, news feed and um, some of the more successful ones are ones that you know I had written out my points beforehand, and I you know I'd read a bit, and then I kind of leave it alone for a while, and then come back and write it. Whereas um, when you keep going back and editing, it, I found that if you keep going back and editing it, you find nicer ways to say things <laughs> sometimes. That uh, and and then you look at it again, and you say, oh, too much jargon. But anyway, but that that just happens in my head if I spend too much time okay, i completely get it i i can do that as well so listen we're almost at 30 minutes so we're almost getting up to the half an hour mark right so we're yeah. gonna say goodbye <laughs> <laughs> we hope you <laughs> No, no, don't start again. I'm going to end up having another fit of the giggles. <laughs> I tell you what, himself will definitely be taking me out of here. <laughs> so listen, Deirdre, thank you so much. And thank you so much for putting up with me last night. <laughs> oh, no problem. I mean, you did very well. I mean, thank you. Said, you're used to it because you, you were the, um, the the single host before you brought me in, in onto the scene. Um, I know, but uh, you do forget it is like riding a bike and I did fall off of the chair a few times. <laughs> but anyway, listen. Ashling up as well. Our Eilish up. She, she um, seemed to have quite a fall off the bi picture of the bicycle. She <laughs> <laughs> so listen everyone thank you so much for joining myself and Deirdre this afternoon we hope you enjoyed our little interview um, if you'd like to know more about more about what Deirdre does <laughs> feel free to contact her directly and please do share this video with your friends um, take care everyone bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs>